Hello chess friends. So we have another game by Alpha Zero, the amazing AI. We just uh, looked at another game where it destroyed Stockfish. This time around it's a more positional uh, approach. And let's have a look at the game. Let's just dive right, right into it. And I have sad news for all my E4 lovers. Best by test. There's a new test my friend and D4 is the move. I like it. However, having said that, Alpha Zero transposes here into the French defense and goes knight c3. Knight f6 and still following non theory, but of course, this is Alpha Zero's own theory. It wasn't fed with any official chess theory, so making it up as we go along. Um, Knight takes d4 is the most common, but knight b b5 has been played in a few few games. Bishop b4 check, bishop to d2, and note that uh, black would rather not exchange the black squared bishop just yet because of this knight d6 move. So bishop c5, and now b4. And since yeah, this bishop has to keep an eye on d6, it goes to e7, and now knight takes d4. A nice knight here on d4. Often white tries to establish a knight there. But we see another approach by Alpha Zero uh, in this game, b5. And after knight takes d4, not knight takes d4, but c takes d4. And it turns out, and I found in many games, that uh, it, it seems like Alpha Zero has a deep understanding of the game. And in many games, I found that the light squared bishop was having problems for Stockfish. Uh, of course, that's more of a problem in the French, and, and we'll see it in this game. So this piece will be a problem piece for black. a4, knight c4, bishop d3. Now uh, Stockfish took on d2. And what would you play here? I think most people would play knight take takes d2. Uh, the problem with queen takes d2 is of course the pin here. But uh, generally we would like to play queen d2 if, if that was not possible. But Alpha Zero played king takes d2. Amazing move. Especially since, after bishop d7, Alpha Zero played king e3. And remarkably, the king is kind of uh, supporting the center from there. <laughs> It's actually amazing. It's not so easy to open anything up here. I mean, if you go like g5, I can just reinforce with g3. And it seems like there are no problems with the king there. And it's actually quite safe and just supporting the center. So b6, like I talked about before, this guy, it's hemmed in by its own pawns here. And this pawn does a good job supported by uh, by this pawn. So the, the bishop is quite restricted. So it seems like uh, positionally Alpha Zero is just playing against this bishop more or less. G4, attacking on the king side. And now perhaps H3 keeping the pawn structure more intact would be the human reaction, but Queen takes g4 and grabbing more space with h4 is what uh, Alpha Zero goes for. Um, let's see a, a few more moves. Queen e7, rook h c1, and g6. So usually this can be a good uh, blocking idea for black, like the h5 square is well protected, the f5 square. But we would perhaps like a knight on this square for it to be. Uh, an ideal blockade. And as we will see, this is not uh, a bulletproof blockade. Rook c2. So logically, uh, doubling on the only open file that's available to uh, Alpha Zero. Queen e8. Still, we see this problem piece here. And the, the game kind of revolves around this guy. Naturally, uh, Black tries to relieve the pressure by exchanging a pair of rooks. Rook c6, attacking the b6 pawn. 
but it's not really attacked because if we take and king c7 and you have to sacrifice this guy even though it's probably still playable but rook c2 was played king d7 knight c5 starting to get aggressive on the king side but there doesn't seem to be a, a big danger there or is there because alpha zero played a stunning move here can you find it it's stunning because alpha zero is playing this positional game but out of the blue bishop takes g6 giving up this piece so what's going on if we take it there's queen check and then knight f7 since this rook is still here on the c file no squares available to the king uh, black must give up the queen but what happens after uh, bishop takes g5 which is uh, what stockfish played well alpha zero calmly took on g5 allowing f takes g6 so now just down a piece or do have one pawn for it but what to do ah uh, just throw away one more pawn why not i mean and when you look through this game first time around it's i mean like what's going on <laughs> you know, you're down a piece but it's a horrible piece it's not in the game and white still has all the space and has some attacking ideas now uh rook g8 was played uh let's go over the possibilities pawn takes and then queen g7 check you can't do anything because once the king moves here as you see it there's always this mate here on c7 and uh, interposing the queen well you have a choice you could take here but there's also rook c7 and then we take the queen and everything drops so you can't take with the g pawn if you take with the e pawn i just enter your position with queen f6 and you you can't really get rid of this threat and meet this threat queen d6 which is checkmate so this is actually just wing for for white just an amazing display of uh, you know difference in uh, in activity and uh, off the pieces and usability so rook g8 was played queen h6 still very calm um, if you take the pawn on f5 I will give you a check here and since we still have the mate on c7 you're gonna lose the rook so queen f7 but now f6 cementing the space king d8 and now just a couple of calm moves showing who's boss kind of and now the queen retreats but of course alpha zero was uh, preparing this and queen c3 now there's a big threat here on c7 so black is more or less forced to trade queens but remarkably even though black is up a piece it's still a useless piece like we pointed out before still the pawns are here hemmed in this pawn can't be attacked because of the other pawn and it does a great job of restricting the bishop so now the rook is also passive it has to protect this pawn so the next few moves black tries to well first it gave up the pawn but this pawn was dropping anyway this king is coming here to take the pawn so it doesn't really matter but the pawn is uh, captured and now stockfish maneuvers at bishop to e8 to protect this pawn so we can free up the rook but it's too late black has virtually no activity the bishop is still passive i mean it finally found a job but it's still passive and now the king enters penetration on the black squares often when you have a, a light squared bishop and pawns on the light squares you're going to be really weak on the dark squares and that's what is ending the game here king e7 and black is too passive you can't meet all the threats and it's actually kind of a six one black played g5 here alpha zero took and stockfish resigned um, 
this might actually be the best game out of uh, the bunch but again amazing <laughs> amazing news amazing chess and I just hope we get to see more of Alpha Zero in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.